Today's topic is the radius bone. Introduction. Today's video topic is the radius bone. The radius bone is one of the bones making up the forearm. It is located to the outer side of the body in the anatomical position and it is shortened and a little thicker than the ulna. At its upper end, it connects with the humerus, forming a part of the elbow joint. At the side, it also connects with the ulna. At its lower end, it connects with the lower part of the ulna and also the carpal bones of the wrist joint. Anatomy The head of radius A concave disc-shaped bony head that connects with the lower part of the humerus bone, forming a part of the elbow joint. It also connects at the side with the ulna bone, forming the upper radio ulnar joint. This connection between the ulna and the radius is what allows the forearms to rotate smoothly. The neck A narrow part of the bone in between the head and the radial tuberosity. The radial tuberosity, an oval-shaped bony protrusion that functions as an attachment point to the biceps brachii muscle. The shaft. The shaft of the radius starts narrow and gets broader as we move towards the lower end. In the middle of the shaft, there is an attachment point for the pronator teres forearm muscle that allows you to pronate your forearm. Styloid process. A bony projection on the outer side of the bone at its lower end where it joins the wrist. This part of the bone can be felt on the outside of the wrist. The ulnar notch. A concave cavity at the lower side of the bone, which connects with the lower part of the ulna, forming the lower radial ulnar joint. Carpal articular surface. A triangular concave surface at the lower part of the radius, which connects with two bones of the carpal bones at the wrist joint. Function. The main functions of the radius bone are to connect it with the humerus and the upper part of the ulna at the elbow joint to allow the pronation and supination of the forearm, and at the lower end, connecting with the carpal bones to allow for flexion and extension along with other movements of the wrist. The radius also has attachment points for seven muscles, which are the pronator teres, the pronator quadratus, the biceps brachii, the supinator, flexor pollicis longus, flexor digitorum, superficialis, and the brachioradialis. Injuries. Let's now talk about the injuries that can happen to the radius. The most common type of injuries to the radius are the fractures. Although the radius is thicker than the ulna, it is more commonly injured than the ulna. The most common type of fracture that happens to the radius is the Coles fracture. It happens when a person falls on an outstretched hand trying to prevent the fall. And when it happens, the lower part of the radius breaks and it may disconnect from some parts of the wrist. Another type of fracture that may happen is the Smith fracture, which is also a break in the lower part of the radius. It also happens from a fall, but on the back of the hand, meaning that your wrist was in a flexion position. Lastly, we have the fractures of the upper part of the radius, which also happen from falls in outstretched position. This type of fracture can separate the radius and the ulna from each other at the upper radial ulnar joint, which can make the condition worse. All these types of fractures have common symptoms of pain, tenderness to touch, and swelling and bruising at the wrist in the case of the Coles and Smith fractures. Treatment The treatment options for the radius fractures depend on the severity of the injury. Simple fractures in which the bone didn't move from its place that much can be treated without surgery and then a cast or splint is used for up to six weeks or more in some cases. After the cast is removed, physical therapy exercises start to restore strength and range of motion. Severe fractures in which the bone moved significantly from its place need surgery most of the time. The surgeon needs to put the broken bone in its correct position and then hold it there in place. After the surgery, a splint can also be used for support. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.